Hey, what's up, guys? <clears throat> so this is the second half video where we are going to, um, well, I'm going to show you how to use Google Plus on a mobile device. <clears throat> so here's Google Plus app, and when you click it, it pretty much launches the uh, application, and there you go. So pretty much like everything is, this is like your news feed where you know you have um, all the news that people post up on Google Plus up here where my thumb is well, I'm not trying to touch that but <clears throat> um, kinda next to the, the Google Plus ah, I keep touching that sorry <laughs> next to the Google Plus emblem it has a drop down list that when you push that you can um, view to see what's hot friends family acquaintance following social media so like these are like your circles that you've created and um, yeah so when you actually press the Google Plus emblem you get a, a left bar menu if you click on your name sorry about that guys <laughs> yeah there we go. It brings you to your profile. So here on your profile, you see all these tabs about posts, photos, and YouTube if you're a YouTuber. Um, other than that, yeah. So then, then it shows your recent posts. Of course, if you click about, you pretty much like um, it shows your profile, your uh, people that you have in your circles, and those that have you in their circles. Uh, whatever you put down for your occupation, your skills, all that good stuff, education, where you attended school, um, current locations, and uh, places that you've been. As you guys can see, I'm a military brat, so I've been around to a lot of places. Um, <clears throat> anyhow, so if you want to post something on Google+, you just basically type the little pen mark. And here you could type out whatever message you want to type out. Um, there's a drop down, which you could choose either to post it public, you could choose specific circles, choose uh, uh, if you have like communities, you can choose where in your communities you want to post it. So that's actually pretty cool. And um, yeah, at the bottom here you'll see photo links and mood. Um, moods is just basically these guys right here so say I want to put the mad face and I have like a little quick statement you can delete that out if you don't want that in your your post but it's uh, pretty much there and you can see the little things animated so let's say that um, I want to say it's hot So I just, you know, I typed out it's hot and I'm going to share it to public. So <clears throat> there it goes. Now, when you get a new post, you'll see this right here. It says new post, touch to see them. You can touch that uh, blue bar to see it or just drag down to refresh your screen. And there it is. It's hot. Um, down here at the bottom where you see plus, it's kind of like a... You now Facebook everyone clicks to like something this one you click to plus a post um, of course self-explanatory press comment to comment and um, if you say that you click my post you do have um, you hit menu you could uh, edit your post in case you misspelled something you could delete it add a link copy the text disable comments disable reshares um, that's the choice you could do with those so anyhow yeah um, now again uh, down here at the bottom where you see you have the ability to add photos you can check in share your locations you could um, select the mood right off the bat or you can uh, write something so that's what's those uh, four icons at the bottom are and from here so as you can see there's a home people photos self-explanatory you know what they are home is your basically your news feed people are the people in your circles 
photos is all the pictures now you can turn on to automatically upload um, your photos but they won't automatically share on Google Plus unless you decide to share them with everybody so it kinda acts like a cloud storage communities same thing like on the desktop uh, video I did you know you have all these communities and uh, you can see them from mobile view so that's pretty cool um, hangouts hangouts opens up the hangouts app so that's what it does and if you uh, say you want to chat with somebody there you go you can chat with them and on the top right corner you'll see where you can start a video call um, and you could uh, search events if there's any events coming up you can check them out on your calendar and search search for people communities or just related topics so anyhow guys <laughs> I'm getting blown up here with text messages but I did want to um, do the part two video of basically how to navigate through the Google Plus app one last thing which I didn't mention on the other video I mentioned here if you want to because I know people are like well how do you send a personal message to somebody it's kind of weird it seems like it's not a personal message but it actually is but it'll say like you you click right to write a message now up here where it says public if you just want it to be specifically to somebody down here at the bottom let's see if I can get this to focus in uh, where it says or pick people and circles you could choose an individual person say I want to send it to my sister and that's it um, now I'll go back oh well I didn't save it but yeah that's how you would choose a specific person type your message and only that person can see it so that's how you would write a personal message other than that that's a quick rundown how to use Google Plus mobile app um, if you found this video helpful Please, please, please uh, give me a good thumbs up because that really helps me out. And uh, if you have not subscribed, go ahead and subscribe. Check out the other custom ROMs and other uh, videos I have posted up. And I will see you guys next time with a video. Thanks for watching. And you guys have a great hump day.